Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, Mr. Potato Head. And we're back here in the city of Bernatan, down in the city of Takani, looking at our university that we've placed in. And you can see this is a busy area. There's lots of people coming and going using the buses down there, people going into the university. And if we take a look, we'll look in a moment, we're actually running very low on university capacity for our city. So you can see here, we've only just got enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a trade school using, using the university's DLC. And we're gonna do it just in here, next to the industry area. I think it makes sense. Maybe the industry area kind of sponsors this trade school. There'll be lots of apprenticeships and stuff going back and forth. So this is where we're gonna build it. So we're gonna flatten out a couple of pads. It's not too hilly, this area, in the context of Bernatan. It's one of the flatter areas, so it's a pretty good one to use. And we're just gonna kind of draw our campus area there. And the first thing we need to do is put in a main building. So we're gonna put a little road in along here and put in the trade school administration building. So it's important this is located close to a main road because this is where all the service buildings for the university will go. So garbage and everything, this is where they'll pick up from. So I think that's a good spot. And then we're gonna leave that there for now and head up to this area. And this is where we're gonna build our student village. So this is where the kind of accommodation's gonna be. This is where the main hub, when students aren't studying, this is where they'll be. So I'm gonna build a little square. We're gonna then connect this up. So. We're going to slope in a road from up here and that will run in nicely to connect that up to the main bit of Bernatan. And then we'll have a road going out that way. We're going to expand off to the right a little bit as well. But then what we're going to do is apply the local and organic produce to this student village. Do that and then with the little blocks of commercial like that, eventually we'll see some parking lots spawning because that's what I want this bit to be. I want it to be a little bit of parking for the students um, who have brought their cars to the university. All you have to do is wait for the buildings to kind of start to build, delete the ones that aren't par car parks. It can take a little while, but it's the best we've got in vanilla, so that'll be fine. And then we're going to run some paths along the edge here. So the accommodation is going to be a little bit set back from the road just so that you know it's nice and walkable nice and pedestrian friendly you can see we've got a couple of parking lots spawned in there so that's good we're getting going on it but lots of paths in and around here just so people can do what they want and then around this this is where we're going to be putting our dormitories so we'll put one up here one along the side here and actually i think here let's delete these paths and put this right up against the road yeah and then we'll be able to probably get two if we expand this path down a little bit we can squeeze another one in there and then I want one more just kind of a diagonal along here. So we'll sort out the water pipes in a moment. Where can we put it? Yeah, that should be good. Just a diagonal. Link these paths up somehow. Oh, lots of snap twos going on. Turn them all off. Here we go. And then we can squeeze one more in there. Very nice. Run a path. We're going to run a road down here. And we'll connect it up kind of over there and then we will be able to run another one over there. I think if we put these buildings up a bit closer together, that will all work. So you can see I like this because it kind of just looks like an extension of the town. It doesn't, these buildings don't stand out too much. They kind of just look like mid-rise buildings, which is kind of what I want. So now we've done that, let's build another kind of central area. So we'll flatten out another pad and this is where we're gonna put more of the academic kind of buildings like the trade school um, study hall. So we'll pop that in there. Very nice, the groundskeeping building, that can just come along the road here, maybe um, down by the main building so that any administration, and then we've got the chess club up there as well. So we've got there with the attractiveness, we just need the students now, so they'll come in no time. So let's just grade this out a bit nicer. And then when it comes to the paths, you can see the blue access is at the front, but there are these stairs here. So just for my imagination, I'm gonna put another path in here. It won't be used, but you know, in real life it would be used. People would go in the side of a building like this as well, but we'll run that path along the front of the building there. And this path will link up to the main road. It's crossing there, so that's all good. And then we'll just connect up the main building, the administration building kind of down to this area. And then the last bit of connection we need to do is from the student village down here. So we'll slope the path and then squeeze that in just there nicely. So very good. We'll grade this out. We won't worry too much about the lumps and bumps at the moment. We'll do some detailing and beautification later. For now, we're gonna have to put the heating and water pipes under the paths, which is all good. And that's ready to go. 
So pretty pleased with that. Let's squeeze these two right up and see if we can fit that road in like we just wanted to before. I think we will. Yeah, perfect. So we'll put that in there because what I want to do is around the back here, we're going to create well, I've already called this area the student village, but it's, yeah, it's going to be kind of just normal housing, zoned housing. So this will be good for the student population. There'll be some commercial in here, but this will be maybe like older students who don't want to live in the dormitories with all the partying kids and things like that. They've got a place to go. Or maybe it's, you know, faculty, staff, they need somewhere to live as well. So maybe they'll live up here. Um, so that's a nice area. We're going to fund some academic works and apply some policies but we actually just need to get the student numbers up. So what we're gonna do is turn off this vanilla university. There's a thousand students down there and immediately you can see our student numbers are shooting up. So by the time we get to the end of the year there, we'll have more than enough students to get up to the next level. So we're just gonna do a bit of beautification, start zoning in this area with some housing as well. We haven't actually got much housing demand, so it's not gonna fill out all that quickly, the housing, but we'll put the zoning in so that when the demand does come, we've got it. And then let's kind of think about this area. I'm gonna add a little park in here so that the students have somewhere to hang out when they're not studying. And then just a few trees and things like that will really bring this area to life. You don't need to do a lot of detailing in places to kind of turn them from just empty spaces into something a bit more interesting. So that's what we're gonna do now. You can see that's, you know, it's really brought that area to life, I think. So I'm pleased with that. We've obviously got a lot more to do still. <laughs> Those parking lots will spawn in eventually. But what we're going to do whilst we wait is get rid of this vanilla university we've turned off and pop in an intercity bus terminal. That's the one we want. So like we saw earlier, there are lots of buses down in this area. It's a busy little area. So here we've got kind of a proper bus station and also this will start to bring tourists into the city. Um, at the moment, tourists can only get in in private cars, but by doing this, you know, we'll start to see some tourists come into the city as well. So that's nice. That's an added bonus. Just rethinking some of the bus routes. Now we've changed this around so that there's line sharing going off. And then the next thing we're going to do is run a fairly express bus just up the main road into the student village so that the students who are in the city of Takani they can still get to the university pretty quickly. So we'll call that Takani to Student Village Express, only a couple of stops along the way. And we'll have to keep an eye on those numbers. And the other place I want to do it is down here where the trolley bus meets the cable car. That's obviously a very busy transit hub in the Bernatan. So we'll do the similar sort of thing, not quite as express, but anyone, you know, if you're on the other side of the tarn, you can get the trolley bus around here and then get the bus over. Or if you're anywhere along the cable car line, you can get the cable car there as well and get the bus up. So that's pretty good. We'll have to keep an eye on passenger numbers and bus numbers and things because they might get very busy, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. And then finally, just a bit of office zoning in there because, you know, we do need more educated workers. Part of the problem is we've not got enough schools around. So we are going to add in another elementary school just here. And you can see high school. High school particularly is really important to us because if we want students to be going to university, they need to be graduating high school. So we're going to build another little high school campus just up here in Burner Woods, which is needed anyway. And we're just going to do the same as usual. We're not just going to plop the high school down. We are going to build a little campus, put in things like a sports hall. Usually we put in an ice hockey rink. Maybe we'll put in a curling... Um, I don't know what you call it. Curling pitch? Curling rink? I don't know. We'll put that in anyway. Curling park, it's called here. Um, and then we'll detail this area up nicely. We are very short on space because we're right on the edge of our owned area. But I'll detail this up and then we should reach the next university level in no time. And there you go, we've reached the end of the academic year and we have leveled up. So we've unlocked the cafeteria, a fountain, a gymnasium, a few other things to put in. So let's see, we'll fund another um, academic works. We're gonna need it and we need to get the attractiveness up. So this outdoor study area, I think it looks quite, uh, always looks nice near your main building because it's kind of like a main quad, I think. So we'll add some more buildings around that eventually, but for now I'm pretty happy with how that looks. 
and the gym. So this is obviously a gym for university students, but I think in a, a town and a city of this size, you would, I think it would be a value to the community as well. So we're gonna put it along this main road and make it look like, yes, it is for the students, but also local residents can pay a fee to come and use this. That path's very steep. In our head, we're gonna imagine that that's stairs, and then we will add another path kind of coming around the back here, which is a bit more, a bit more reasonable, so any accessible users can, can get through this way. And then we'll just replace some of that vegetation that we lost as well. And I think this is really good because as you're kind of coming down the street now, you can see the gym. So if you are kind of a member of the public using it, it doesn't feel like you have to go right into the university. That facility is right there for you. And you know, it's a way that in real life, the university would make a bit of money as well. So happy with that. What's the next thing, the cafeteria. So I'd like to squeeze that just in there, but I've not made it quite big enough. So I think here will be fine. We'll leave a bit of room to expand that path out at the top. Excellent. Um, and the trade school fountain, that won't fit in there. So down by the main building. Brilliant. And where are we at now? Oh, we need 20 more attractiveness. So we'll just spam probably another trade school fountain down <laughs> somewhere, maybe just here by the outdoor study area. These things will move around, I'm sure, at some point, but that'll do for now. And then we'll just do some final bits, connect up some paths, a little bit more detailing. And then it's a case of just waiting for the end of the academic year again. So let's check on our bus line. 595, 595 people waiting at one stop. So let's whack those bus numbers right up. Everything else seems to be okay. I do find that sometimes people rush to the new transit options and it balances out over time. So we'll have to keep an eye on it, but I think that should be okay. Um, people are still using this, these cable cars. And one thing I want to do actually is sort out this line. It made a bit of a weird thing with the terrain there, but I think if we just do it this way, there we go, that's much better. And we've leveled up the next university level. You can see we've unlocked a lot more buildings. So we've got to start trying to squeeze them in somewhere. We've got to get four more academic works, more students and more attractiveness. But I think by the end of the academic year, we'll have plenty of that. So let's see what new buildings we've unlocked. A library, we'll have to squeeze that in somewhere. The commencement office. So this, I like this one. I like that you have the graduation at the end of the year. And um, I think it's the kind of building you'd have to place quite carefully in real life. So let's shuffle this out of the way. I think I want it to go around the quad. So that's not going to fit. Not going to fit again. Third time lucky. Yep, yeah, here we go. <laughs> not gone far enough this way now. So we'll just run a path around the edge of here. And then we can put the commencement office in here. So that's not worked out quite well. There you go, we'll do some landscaping. So obviously this is right by some wind turbines. It's right by a big industry building. But I think what we can do is we'll pad it out eventually. Obviously, like we said, a lot of this would be sponsored by the ore mine, this trade school. So I don't think it's the end of the world, but you wouldn't necessarily want to see a factory or a recycling center in your graduation pictures. So we will add some buffering in there as well at some point. But for now, that's all good. We'll leave that there. We can connect this path up at the back here, just kind of weave it around a little bit. That's gonna be the best way, there we go. And that's starting to look nice, starting to take shape. We'll get the IT club in somewhere. And actually what I think is, we'll move the chess club to here. That kind of just looks more like a house. And then we'll squeeze the IT club in there. Very nice. We still need more students and more attractiveness. So let's put one of the academic statues in. That'll look nice as well. We can spam another one in there. And then the other thing is this police academy. So. You unlock these kind of, they're like the unique buildings. You can only place one of these um, per campus area, but they actually have added values as well. So the police academy, I think it kind of increases your jail cell capacity, lowers crime rate. So we're gonna put that in, but we're gonna put it slightly away from the campus area along this main road where it's gonna have quite a um, impressive stature, I think. It will look quite good in the city as you're driving along this main road. So we'll squeeze that in there and then we'll connect up the paths a little bit and it will be a good excuse to eventually kind of expand the university campus out this way or some of the university housing we'll see. But I think that looks really nice in there, quite happy with that. And we're actually gonna have a road run along the back rather than a path. And then we can start to, like we said, we'll develop out this area a little bit. It's gonna be a bit more gridded, this kind of area, I think we'll make use of it, but we'll connect up our main highway just there and then 
we still need a bit more attractiveness so maybe we should think about adding in some varsity sports we're probably getting to the right size of university where some varsity sports would fit in and you know down here along by the highway i think this would be or not a highway is it's an arterial but i think this would be a good location because it means that, again, locals will have good access to it without having to go through the campus and disturb the students. Locals in the city can come and watch some sport. So we'll squeeze that in there. I think those junctions on the main road, there are quite close together, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem, um, but we'll keep an eye on it. Just make these bends all look a bit nicer. That's good. So then we can squeeze a path in along the back. We might start to get noise issues from the stadium into Burner Woods, but we'll see what we can do. That's got our attractiveness up. So we'll apply this education boost policy. So that means that people will choose going to university over getting a job. And then let's, you know, student healthcare, free lunch, visiting scholars, we'll apply all of these. We just really, we just want to kind of get as many people into the university as possible. I'd like to change the team sponsor to a beer because we're Burner Tarn, which means Beer Lake, but we don't have one. That's not an option. So we'll just stick with a lion. So we'll just do a bit of beautification, sort out some of these lumps and bumps, make everything look a bit more natural, and then we'll reassess where we are towards the end of the academic year. So when we actually look at capacity, we still don't we barely have enough. We're pretty much where we were at the start of the episode. So we're going to put in that School of Travel and Tourism, which was the other kind of unique university building we un we've unlocked at the back here. Um, and I think we can squeeze that in down here near the city of Takani. We've got a nice little spot of land for it here with a bit of grading work we'll be able to make it fit in. And also the city of Takani doesn't have very good university coverage at the moment. And with it being kind of one of our major population centers, it would be good to do so. So we'll just expand the campus over here. Oh, and I've accidentally deleted it. You have to be careful that you don't go through any parks because you can't have them overlapping when you do that. But now this is part of the same campus, even though it's completely separate. So that's always nice. And then similar to before, we're going to have a path kind of to set it back off the road a little bit. And then we'll just plop the building in here. And you can see, look at that green coverage now. The whole of the city of Takani is covered. So we'll get lots of students drawn into there. Because this is now less of an arterial road, we want it to be a bit more pedestrian friendly. We'll, we'll lower the number of lanes down, make it a bit of a slower road. I think those trees are nice in there. We don't want to block the view of the city too much. And we do still have a really high demand for industrial. So we're going to squeeze some offices in along this main road. I think it makes sense next to the university building anyway. Maybe it's kind of the tourism board and other kind of tourism related offices are located in there. And then we'll just do a little bit of grading and beautification here to, to make it all look nice. There you go. And I think that fits in really nicely, actually. So we've got plenty of students, plenty of attractiveness, plenty of um, capacity throughout the city now. So we are starting to get a little bit of residential demand coming back. So let's start to fill out this area. Probably going to be a bit more gridded, not a complete grid, but, you know, less, less organic road layout. We want to maximise our use of this area and we'll start to put in some housing as well. lots of walking paths through the blocks there's some quite big blocks here um, we want it to feel nice and spacious we'll add some detailing so it almost feels like little parks behind the houses and things these offices here they'll help to buffer some of the noise that was going to be generated from that stadium and then the majority of it's going to be low density residential but we will just add a couple of like a little node of high density residential in the middle there once we've put the water pipes in, we can start to think about services as well, because we might have neglected this area slightly with some of the services like healthcare. First things first, let's expand the bus route. So now there's a stop for the uh, police academy. There's also a stop added in there for the, um, the, the arena. So that's really good. Some of these are starting to fill in nicely. And then let's look at adding a bit of detailing just to make it look a bit nicer, bring this area to life as well. And again, just block some of those views. So these paths, you know, just a few trees around the meeting points will start to look really nice. So we've got no healthcare, so that can be kind of like a, a medical clinic for the students. There's no fire coverage down even in Burner Woods. So I think a larger fire station here. And again, this wouldn't be massively desirable land due to its proximity to that stadium. So here's a good kind of like public services campus, death care as well. And then let's just put in a couple of 
couple of parks for the area. You can see immediately when we drop these, all those little green lines, that's people upgrading because they're happy with the new services and parks we've added in. So we'll just wait for the end of the academic year and we should have leveled up by then. And there we go. So we've added academic works, got lots of new students in. We've unlocked some new buildings. So that's brilliant. So we've got a long way to go to get to level five. And if I'm honest, I don't think we're going to reach it just because of the attractiveness that's required. And I don't want to just be spamming buildings down thoughtlessly. So let's try and add some of these buildings that we have unlocked in. But you can see we've actually got garbage issues and our processing status is getting quite low. So maybe we can add in a recycling center along here. That should add a bit more processing status and coverage. And let's see, so what have we got? The auditorium, I like this. There is a bit of a plain wall at the back. So I think we can squeeze this in, in this area somewhere. If we maybe move that, that park and then run a path out kind of just along here. There you go. And I think that looks good because the windows are now looking out onto the benches, but the plain wall is kind of looking out mostly onto another building. And then this looks nice in that area as well. And like we said, this way we're starting to kind of buffer the views of the factory. I'm just going to try switching these around. No, I don't like that as much. Let's put them back. Yeah, this is going to buffer the views of the factory and everything and the, the garbage processing unit. We can add a bit more landscaping in just so that if you are coming down any of these paths, you don't look directly onto it. But again, like I said, you know, the industry area is really, that's the heart of the city and the heart of the school. So, you know, you've got to take it with it. So the bookstore i think that will look nice up there let's just expand the campus slightly again we'll just do a bit of landscaping around that and finish it off but to be honest i think we're getting to the point where we're going to leave it here for today so i'm going to leave you with a brief city tour of what we've achieved whatever you're doing for the rest of your day enjoy it and i'll see you next time